examples of mixed numbers and improper fractions. Everybody make a model of two and one fourth. I'm going to give you a hint that we're talking about cars and loose tires. You're showing me two and one fourth. Can you describe what you made with the blocks in terms of whole cars and tires? These are two holes and this is the loose tire. Yeah. How many does it take to make a whole thing? Four tires. Yeah. Where is that in the mixed number? Right here. Yeah. That tells you how much it <laughs> takes to make a whole. And this would be the number of loose uh, parts, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this would be what? The hole. How many holes? Two. Yeah, so you've got these two. Okay, what is it that you think I'm going to ask you to do right now? Make an improper fraction. With the same stuff, right? So you had a mixed number of two and one-fourth, two cars and a tire. You're going to show me how many tires. So you're going to have to take those tires off the cars you made. Are you going to add or subtract any tires or just take them off the car? Yeah? Um, um, you are just going to subtract. Not going to take any away, nope. All we're going to do, we're going to have the same amount. Nope, we're not going to add any either. You're just going to take the tires off your cars. Let's see that happen. So just take your, take those cars apart. Yeah, into tires. Now you got a whole bunch of tires. How many tires do you have? See if you can figure that out. One fourth, you're gonna turn that into an improper fraction. So you took the tires off the car. How many cars did you have? We had two cars. Correct, and each one had? Uh, four tires. Correct, so you had four two times. Yes. How many? Tires came off the whole cars then. Two, eight. eight. And then you Plus had. Nine. Yeah. So when you have this, the math way of doing it is to say, look, two, each one had four. four. I had two whole ones. So four times two eight. is. Eight. Plus. One is nine. Nine fourths. Nine. All right. So four times two is eight, and one more. Nine fourths or nine tires for two cars and one tire. Can you explain how to say this as a mixed number? Sure. There are one pair of shoes and one loose shoe. The, so you say that one and one half. There are three shoes in total and it takes two to make a pair. So that's three and Three, and you don't say tooths, you say three three halves. halves. Yeah, and the same two here, it takes two to make a hole. So you got one hole and two. Okay, show me the math way of getting this. You start out with, with uh, one and one half. How do you turn that into three halves? Can you show me? You times the two by the one, yeah. and then plus the one by a one, and that makes three. Okay, so it, it takes two to make a hole. You have one hole. Two times one is two, two. and then you, you want to add the one. one loose shoe, and that'll give you three. Now, what is this two talking about? How many, how many shoes it takes to make a pair. Correct. So we've got three halves here. How do you turn that into a mixed number? It takes... Two times... Two to make a... Two to make a hole. And in the parts box here, we've got three shoes, right? Yes. So can you make a whole pair out of three shoes? Yes. Yeah. How many pairs? One. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, how many shoes did you use? One, One. times two is... Eight. Two. All right. What's left after you make the pair? One shoe. Yeah. So... One... And... And one half. Nice.